natural history. Porcelain fragile, dry and white as the inner cheek of seashell, hollow and quick as 206 high-strung wind tunnels, we stretch our arm bones out beside us and bend joints backwards like pages of Wordsworth, swimming through thick stairs, second-hand news, an uncertain stomach, Springsteen, new dead men's words you recite. The round blue button labeled tragedy in the extinct bird room squeezes a distant taped voice through the carpet. 100 million year old gray dodos, they're young, rough, and bleary. They're adults, indifferent and blue as sea boulders, would have survived if only they'd had our two million year old lips. If beaks could sprawl, waver, could delight in romantic poetry, if both auburn glass eyes sunk into foreheads of their feather-slick faces, if they stared, if slate rubber webs could pat out odes to prehistoric fish. We are important progeny, noted parents, two million years of savage success. We recognize seams split on taxidermied zebras, where glue, thread, and our lips are time-worn. We do not speak of thick stares or stomachs full with pinned insect specimens, plus cool gray pebbles which taste of the sea and of other beaks, drunk to aid digestion, ricocheting like rapid heartbeats. Our flesh, too, is stitched poorly together. Our limbs, too, will one day be stuffed mid-swim, old juvenile specimens of our new genus. Thank you.